now let's let's also talk about something that you might be hearing out there which is quite um confusing if you don't know anything about sql right so you will hear some people talking about sql you hear pe some people talking about sql right so now you'll be confused is it sql or is it sql which one should i use all right let's get a clarity over here now sql it was actually developed by ibm right it was developed by ibm in the 70s and uh, when they developed this um language during i mean in those days since in the 70s they they first called it structured english query language right instead of just um instead of just structured query language right instead of just structured query language um they used to call it structured english query language sql okay so you should call it like that so um in the olden days those who were um doing sql in those days they used to call it sql all right now they changed this um name right they changed this name from s from sql to sql and it's simply because um sql was a trademark of an airplane company as of that time and you know how trademark and those things works right if you someone is having their name which is already um legal terms okay so they change it from structured english query language to structured query language okay they change it from this to that All right now some people who are already familiar with this language refuse to change you know how human being is it's difficult for us to actually adjust to new things it takes a lot of time so those who were um, in this scenario in the 70s and lent it through the 70s to the 80s to the 90s they still stick to calling it sql okay and i mean some of those people are well i mean developers right so they also imparted in them and they keep on calling it sql right but um there's nothing wrong calling it sql or sql okay so i mean some people call it sql for just simple pronunciation right i mean it's easier to say sql or and some people find it difficult saying sql right <laughs> some people find it easier to say sql so i mean either of them is fine you can call it sql you can call it sql not not i mean there's no problem with that there's no issue okay so that shouldn't be something that you should worry yourself about right what you should know is how to use it okay how to call it is not a problem you can call it sql or you can call it sql either of them is fine all right so as i said you can either call it sql or you can call it sql either of them is fine there's no issue right you don't need to i mean spend time thinking about how to call this instead spend time to learn how to use it all right